in order for the debt levels to be sustainable to the government, we've got to have debt to GDP ratios going in the right direction. But the right direction for the government would be that GDP levels are higher, continue to increase quicker than does the debt. We have to have that. When that gets reversed, or the trend is that it is reversing for an extended period of time, we are doomed. I don't know how else to say it. But the economic catastrophe or the economic Armageddon that I've spoken about many times is going to be alive and well. So, we've got an entire uh, body in Congress that has been sold a bill of goods and, and, and we know that they're much more economically inept than the average people in which they serve or say they serve. But one thing they have been sold is that debt is okay. We don't care about $18 trillion of debt. It is irrelevant. It's not an issue. Debt is okay and debt is extremely uh, um, sustainable and debt has always been a part of the American economy. All of those things true, but it is only sustainable as it relates to debt against the GDP. So when debt to GDP begins to increase, that begins to get more unsustainable. If inflation goes up, that is a good thing for the government because in their distorted mentality, it raises GDP. If it raises GDP, it lowers the debt to GDP ratios, assuming the debt stays the same. But if the debt continues to rise quicker and the interest on the debt, creating more net debt, continues to raise, then the ratios of debt to GDP start going the wrong way. And that's when the crisis, or at least if the trend looks like that's happening, that's when we're in big, big trouble.